everybody, this is Julie with Race at Stamp it .com, and I was talking about a recipe that I wanted to show you guys. It's an appetizer, and this is the one that everyone goes crazy for when I make this. So if you love bacon, you will love this recipe. So definitely not low fat, but it's super good. What I do is just take uh, the bacon thawed, and you can either have extra thick or regular. Either one will work. And you cut the bacon into threes, and so you can see I've already done my little pile here. And what you do is you take one of the strips of bacon that I've cut, and you take some of these water chestnuts that are sliced. And um, what I like to do is, there's whole chestnuts and then there's sliced. I like the sliced because the hole is a little bit too big. So I take two of the sliced and then put it in the middle. Okay, and since I have this camera in my hand, it's a little hard to show you how to do this. But what you do is you wrap one side, and then you wrap the other side around. And this is really hard to do with one hand and trying to film it, too. Anyway, so you wrap it around like that, like a little blanket is what you do, kind of like a pigs in the blanket type thing. And then you poke a toothpick through it so it'll look like that. And then what you're going to do is stick it in the oven and cook it for 30 minutes or until the bacon is crisp. And then we'll move on to the next part. Okay everybody, so I've gone ahead and actually cooked these in the oven and then what I'm going to do is dip it in this mixture and this mixture is one and a half cups ketchup, quarter cup lemon juice, and two thirds cup sugar. This is actually a recipe from the Six Ingredients or Less cookbook from Carlene Johnson and she's actually local here in Gig Harbor and the cookbook is phenomenal. I mean, I just love it. Six Ingredients or Less and literally her stuff is so yummy. So if you want some ideas of what to do with your leftover turkey, she has like chicken enchiladas, but I make the chicken enchiladas and put turkey rather than chicken. You can do tortilla soup and throw that in there. I kind of sound like Bumpa Gump, you guys, from Forrest Gump, giving you all these ideas instead of shrimp. We're talking turkey. But anyway, I just wanted to share this recipe with you because it is so super, super good. And what you do is you just dip it in here, place it in this tray, and you'll cook it again for another 20 minutes. And out will come this... It's salty from the bacon, a little bit peppery because this bacon happened to have a little bit of pepper on it. Definitely tangy from the lemon, sweet from the sugar and the ketchup. And let me just tell you what, it does not taste like ketchup at all. It's just sweet, tangy, salty, crunchy. It is so good. And the crunch comes from not only the crunch in the bacon, but also the water chestnuts that were put, put inside of here. So anyway... There's a little um, holiday recipe from my house to yours, and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday and Christmas. And, of course, this might be put on a little bit late for Thanksgiving because this is actually Thanksgiving morning and I'm making this and had it over to a friend's house for Thanksgiving. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys because it is fabulous. So enjoy and have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.